Are you ready for today's Maratón Mental? Today, we'll explore Glencoe Spanish Level 1, Buen Viaje. Get ready to practice your Spanish language skills and learn more about the culture of the Spanish-speaking world. Vámonos! You'll find the answers to today's game in Buen Viaje. Bienvenidos a Maratón Mental. Today's questions will come from Chapter 9, El Verano y el Invierno. The game will be broken up into three rounds. Round one will test how well you know the vocabulary and structure from chapter nine. Your team will have 10 seconds to decide on your answer and hold up your card. If you need to, you can pause the program between questions for extra time. Now it's time to divide up into teams. Be sure to select one person as scorekeeper. We'll pause for a moment to let you organize your teams. Let's begin round one. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. The question is, ¿Dónde pasaron el sábado los jóvenes? En la piscina, en la playa, en la cancha de tenis. The answer to the question, ¿Dónde pasaron el sábado los jóvenes? is B en la playa. Scorekeepers, please give 10 points to teams that gave the correct answer. The next question is, ¿Qué tiempo hace? Hay nubes. Llueve. Hace sol. The answer to the question, ¿Qué tiempo hace? is C. Hace sol. That's 10 points if your team answered C. The next question is, ¿Qué bajaron los esquiadores? El bastón, la pista, la ventanilla. The answer to the question, ¿Qué bajaron los esquiadores? is B, la pista. Scorekeepers, that's 10 points for a right answer. The next question is, ¿A dónde fueron los jóvenes? Fui a la estación de esquí. Fueron a la estación de esquí. Fue a la estación de esquí. The answer to the question, ¿A dónde fueron los jóvenes? is B. Fueron a la estación de esquí. For answering B, your team gets 10 points. The next question is, ¿Dónde nadaste? Nadé en la piscina. Nadaste en la piscina. Nadó en la piscina. The answer to the question, ¿Dónde nadaste? is A. Nadé en la piscina. Remember, when you hear a question with nadaste, you respond with nadé. If your team answered A, you get 10 points. And now it's time for the bonus bonanza question. Double points if you get the right answer to this one. Vámonos. The bonanza question is, ¿José compró las botas? Sí, los compró. Sí, la compró. Sí, las compró. The answer to the question, ¿José compró las botas? is sí, sí, las compró. Remember, a direct object pronoun must agree in gender and number with the noun it replaces. Scorekeepers, that's 20 points for this bonus bonanza question. ¡Qué bien! That's the end of round one. How did your team do? Remember, you get 10 points for each correct answer and 20 points for the bonus bonanza question. We'll give you a moment to tally the scores and get ready for the next round. Okay. 
Okay, now it's time for round two, which will focus on the lectura cultural in chapter nine. This round will consist of three more questions, all worth 10 points each. In this round, you'll again have 10 seconds to answer each question. Teams ready? Scorekeepers ready? Then let's begin round two. The question is, ¿Qué tienen muchos países del mundo hispano? Muchas vacaciones, montañas, playas fantásticas. The answer to the question, ¿Qué tienen muchos países del mundo hispano? is C, playas fantásticas. Teams with the correct answer get 10 points. The next question is, ¿En qué país es eterno el verano? En Uruguay, en Puerto Rico, en Chile. The answer to the question, ¿En qué país es eterno el verano? is B, en Puerto Rico. If you answered B, your team gets 10 points. The question is, ¿Qué necesitas cuando el sol es fuerte? Una crema protectora, la arena, las olas. The answer to the question, ¿Qué necesitas cuando el sol es fuerte? is A, una crema protectora. If your team answered A, you get 10 points. That's the end of round two. Now it's time to figure your score. Remember, in round two, each correct answer is worth 10 points. Scorekeepers, total the points for round two and add them to the points from round one. We'll give you a moment to tally the scores and get ready for the next round. Now it's time for round three, which will test your listening comprehension skills. In this final round, you'll have three more questions. Each question is now worth 15 points. Again, you will have 10 seconds to come up with the correct answer. The team with the most total points at the end of round three wins today's Marathon Mental. Teams ready? Scorekeepers ready? Then let's begin round three. Listen and watch as these teens enjoy their vacation. Hola, Cristina. ¿No tienes una toalla playera? No, esta mañana bajé a la playa a escribir y no a tomar el sol. Dejé la toalla y el traje de baño en la habitación. ¿Qué dejó Cristina en su habitación? Su crema protectora, sus gafas de sol, su toalla playera. The answer to the question, ¿Qué dejó Cristina en su habitación? is C, su toalla playera. If your team said C, you're correct for 15 points. Now, let's listen again to find out about Luis. ¿Y dónde está Luis ahora? ¿Duerme? No, está en la cancha de tenis con papá y mamá. Juegan tenis. ¿Dónde está Luis? En la pista para expertos. En la cancha de tenis. En casa con los padres. The answer to the question, ¿Dónde está Luis? is B, en la cancha de tenis. Your team gets 15 points if you had the right answer. Listen again as Cristina discusses her preferences. Tú vives cerca de la costa, ¿no? Sí. Me gusta un poco el esquí acuático, pero en el invierno prefiero esquiar en la nieve. ¿Qué prefiere Cristina en el invierno? ¿El voleibol? ¿Esquiar en la nieve? ¿El esquí acuático? The answer to the question, ¿Qué prefiere Cristina en el invierno? is B, esquiar en la nieve. Your team gets 15 points if you had the right answer. While the scorekeepers total all the final scores, 
you can discuss what you've learned in Chapter 9. Congratulations to the winning team in this episode of Marathon Mental. We hope you've enjoyed the challenge. Spanish can be fun. It's just a matter of asking questions and working together to find the answers. We hope Marathon Mental has made it fun. <laughs>